students this is the second part of the topic interrupts of 8085 microprocessor in this video you will see various interrupt instructions and their use in the assembly programming after this i'll tell you the important concepts and frequently asked questions from the topic so please students watch the video completely and thoroughly and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more contents so let's start with the topic before going into detail of the instructions let's first understand that there is very important flip flop known as interrupt enable this flip flop is internal to the microprocessor and this is used to make microprocessor to receive the service request from the external device or to remain it in the do not disturb mode so it will be done by using the setting or resetting the flip flop if the flip flop is set then microprocessor will receive the request from the external device otherwise it will be in do not disturb mode it cannot receive any request from the external device and how it is done it is done with the help of the instructions these are enable interrupt instruction which is used to enable all the maskable interrupts and the di instruction this is disable interrupt this is used to disable all the maskable interrupts after this let's see the interrupt process how the 8085 microprocessor handle the interrupt for this the programmer need to first write the instruction ei this will make the microprocessor to receive the signal interrupt signal from the external device and after receiving the interrupt request it will first execute or you can say finish the current instruction execution so and then it will save the memory location of the next instruction into the stack memory so this is this process is similar to the pushing the contents of program counter onto the stack after this the program counter will be loaded with some memory location and that will be the um, specific memory location of the page 0 and for that rst n instructions are required but there is one interrupt intr which do not have predefined rst n instruction or the memory location of the page 0 and there the external devices are required to insert these instructions and after that this program counter will be loaded with the memory location of the page 0 so what is the significance of this memory location here the starting address of the service routine is mentioned and what is the service routine service routine is the request by the external device or you can say the task that my uh, the external device wants microprocessor to perform okay so that is the service routine the service routine is executed and before end of the service routine there must be the return instruction which will make the microprocessor to pop the program counter value from the stack and which will transfer the control to the main program and then the rest of the instructions of the main program will be executed so this is the whole interrupt process now let's see the other interrupt instructions sim instruction sim stands for set interrupt mask this instruction is multi purpose the first purpose is to set the mask over the interrupts like rst 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 the second purpose is for the serial communication let's understand in detail the sim instruction actually interpret the accumulator content in this form the d7 and d6 bit these are used for the serial output communication so sod serial output data this is this uh, whatever the bit over here the microprocessor is sending to the interfaced external device but the communication is possible only when the serial data enable bit is 1 otherwise the communication is not possible the next bit is not in use so we will take value 0 
the d fourth bit is used to reset the rst 7.5 flip flop if this bit value is 1 then rst 7.5 interrupt will not be received by the microprocessor and the d3 bit this is very important bit this is used to set the mask over the rst 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 interrupts only when this bit is 1 otherwise the rest of the d2 to d0 bits will have no meaning these d2 to d0 bits are used to mask the rst 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 interrupts if the value is 0 then these interrupts are serviced by the microprocessor otherwise not basically the sim instruction and next you will see the rim instruction both instructions are used to give more power to the programmer to handle the interrupts now let's see the rim instruction rim stands for read interrupt mask so this is also multi-purpose instruction the first purpose is to read the status of the interrupts okay and also it is used in the serial communication you have seen the serial output communication in the sim instruction here you will see serial input communication this msb bit is used to serially input the data from the external device to the microprocessor the next three bits are used to tell the status of the interrupts whether they are pending or not if the bit value is one then that particular interrupt is pending i7 is used for rst 7.5 this is for 6.5 and i5 for 5.5 and the next is interrupt enable bit if this bit is one then it will make interrupt enable flip flop set and hence the microprocessor can receive the request from the external device the next three bits are same as you have seen in the same instruction for masking the rst 7.5 6.5 and 5.5 interrupts now let's see the assembly program based on these interrupt instructions assume that microprocessor is completing rst 6.5 interrupt request check to see if rst 5.5 is pending or not for that we will use rim instruction and if it is pending then make it enable without affecting other interrupts otherwise return to the main program so the first instruction should be rim because we want to check this status and this will load the mask info into the accumulator but first save the mask info to some other register because we are going to check the status so save this mask info and now check the status of rst 5.5 for that i will use and operation now look into the rim instruction here now in this diagram you can see that if d4 bit is 1 only in this condition the rst 5.5 will be pending otherwise not that's why i am using and operation making all other bits zero so what will the value this is 10 hex so performing and with this value 10 hex so it will check the status of rst 5.5 if it is pending in that case the value in the accumulator will not be zero that's why i am using jump if no zero instruction and jumping to some location using next as the memory location and if it is not pending in that case we have to return to the main program before returning enable all the interrupts and then return to the main program using ret instruction and if it is pending this is showing that rst 5.5 is pending so jump to this point and make rst 5.5 enable but without affecting other interrupts so the first step is take all the mask info into the accumulator once again because accumulator value will get changed by performing the AND operation. So taking back this mask info 
into accumulator and now once again performing the AND operation why so because uh, only the AND operation will make the RST 5.5 the uh, enable and without affecting the rest of the bits so what will be the value for the AND operation for this look into the same instruction you can see for uh, making only the RST 5.5 enable this bit value should be 0 and the rest of the interrupts value should be 1 because in that case if they are uh, masked or not that will not affect the bit value because we are performing AND operation and these bits are not important so taking 0 it is 0 E hex so we need to perform AND operation with 0 e hex it will enable rst 5.5 and the next step is to enable the sim instruction for that use or instruction and you need to perform oring with some value and what will be that value going back into the sim instruction so making enable all the masking these bits are not important d3 bit should be 1 and rest of the bits will be 0 so this value is 08 hex performing or with 08 hex it will enable the same and next use the same instruction and then jump to the service routine to complete the task so this is the program now let us see the important concepts from the topic. The first one is the AI and DI instructions are used to set or reset the interrupt enable flip flop. This flip flop makes the microprocessor to receive the, the interrupt signal from the external device. Okay. But the EI instruction is compulsory in the main program if programmer wants to receive all the interrupt signals by the microprocessor. And the microprocessor will handle the interrupt almost in the same way as the call instruction. Next, the same instruction is used for two purposes. The first one is to set the mask on RST 7.5. 6.5 and 5.5 interrupts and the another purpose is for the serial output data communication while the rim instruction is used to read the status of these interrupts and serial input data communication now let's see the frequently asked questions from the topic the first one is write an ALP to enable RST 6.5 interrupt only in 8085 microprocessor so how can you do this for this you need to first write the EI instruction this will enable all the maskable interrupts to be received by the microprocessor and then load some value into the accumulator which will be interpreted according to the sim instruction okay so what will be that value for this let's once again remember the sim instruction last four bits should be zero because D7 and D6 are used for the serial output communication. D5 is not in use. D4 for the resetting the RST 7.5 flip flop. D3 bit is used for mask set enable. This bit should be 1. And D2 bit is used for masking the RST 7.5. So the bit value should be 1. D1 bit is used for 6.5 and we want to enable it. That's why the value should be 0. And the last one D0 bit value should be 1 to mask the RST 5.5 interrupt. So the value is 0 D hex. So we will move that value into the accumulator and it will enable the RST 6.5 interrupt only. After this, what is the significance of EI instruction? I hope you students you have watched the video thoroughly. So you must be able to answer this question. And the last one is why d0 to d2 bits in rim and sim instructions are same students this is very simple question but can be asked in the interviews 
so think about it and reply me in the comment section i hope students you like the video so please subscribe the channel for more contents and if you have any queries regarding microprocessor 8085 8086 and microcontroller 8051 vlsi design vlsi ed tools analog electronics and digital electronics etc you can write me in the comment section or mail me my mail id is given in the description of the video Thank you so much and have a nice day.